I am sorry, but I have to ask the question because I'm listening to all this and I so appreciate the advancement in technology. I so appreciate, David. It's your choice. You're, you wanted to spend the money for you. It was the right call, but I'm sitting here thinking months of pain, the hospital, rehabilitation, electively. Yes. And to me, it sounds pretty extreme. I certainly appreciate the, the uses in certain necessary medical situations. And again, completely respect um, how far we've come medically, but it's, you can understand, David, how, and I'm asking you because you've been through it. I'm looking at it and thinking about it. I'm picturing you in that hospital and going through all the rehab for, you know, a little over an inch between an inch and two inches of height, which for you, you wouldn't change a thing, but you can see how it feels yeah, extreme. Dr. Travis, hey, you have, no, you have no prejudice on your side being six, six foot four. five. No, I'm not. But no, yeah. six, four. no so but I, I, mean, I have to, I, mean, I agree I mean, with you, Jack. I mean, that I think, needs I to be is, crystal clear, too. Well, hey, of hey, I am between a, a rock and a hard place on this, too, because it seems extreme electively for a few inches, but. You know, you're not you're not in his shoes. Well, no, so. I'm, not, so I'm not joking. No, no, That's no, why no, I'm no. asking the question. And no. I would like to let him answer because yeah. I'm look. The reality is that it's a huge procedure, it is. and even you said you sort of went through the recovery process, thinking, "Why did I do this?" I, I think you're right, though. I think yeah. I want to hear your answers, but I think. Dr. Stork, you are very tall, so you've never had that, <laughs> oh, but uh, you I know, get, that but, aspect of growing up and, and feeling. But that, I've had a broken bone, yeah, and I know hurts. what that and feels so like, and, and I, I remember hurts. what it was like so. laying in bed at night in significant agony from a broken bone, and all yeah. I'm thinking of is you, David, in that yeah. hospital well, bed in pain, it. happy with the outcome, but... You know, mentally, I guess this is more of a question of when do you know you're ready for this? It's definitely a, a painful procedure. I mean, the pain is, is manageable, so it's not just, you know, your, your, your bone's broken. I mean, they're, you're, you're separating the bone, uh, you know, almost a millimeter every day, so, and then you have to be mobile if you have to go to work. I was very fortunate that I had a really good support system. I didn't have to be at a job every single day, so... Um, I had the financial means for the procedure. I, you know, my, my fiance was very, very supportive. It was, was there for me every day. I had a great neuromuscular therapist, a great physical therapist, but yeah, the pain is going to be there. If you've broken and a leg, I had two water. broken legs. So, you know, it's, 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 it is something that you have to, to put yourself through and, you, you know, looking and back upon it, you know, a lot of people say, would you have gone through that procedure? And, I mean, Dr. Kevin, how are people? Banging down the door. I mean, how how popular is um, this? Yeah, I would say it's fairly popular. I mean, um, um, at least there's not too many people doing it. So we still get patients from around the world, around the country, Mexico, Canada, even from Europe, um, Asia, that fly to Las Vegas to get the procedure done. I think the most important takeaway, if I could offer it, would just be that if you're going to do this, do it with someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> because it is elective, it's not emergent. Yeah. So you take your time, you check all the boxes, you have long conversations with your physician, right. you talk to people like David, and I thank you so much, David, for being so open and honest mm -hmm. about your recovery. Yeah. And you said it, right? If you had to go back in time, you, you would do it again? I'd probably go for another half inch. Because <laughs> you do, that's, that's the other part is you have yes, to make a decision, yeah. right? You have to say, okay, well, how do I balance out? I want to stay physically active, all right, right? Do we stop here? A lot that goes into it. Do your research. I really appreciate both of you sharing this with us. And I can tell you this, we have come a long way. I mean, I think, I think what's technology. fascinating is the technology where you take this, these innovations that were originally for reconstruction yes. and deformities and you can apply it now and, and all of these with the fact so much ways. better Button. technology. Yeah. I mean, yes, not a new procedure. This lengthening was done in Russia years mm -hmm. ago, but not with that kind of technology. But with those technology. external fixatives yes. that were so archaic. I mean, what you had in the video, not something elegant like this. So really interesting.